we're just gonna dive right into the video um thank you for coming here and watching this video be sure to like comment and subscribe while you are here before you watch the video matter of fact because this one is going to be different and good i had got this wig from amazon for about 70 well about 80 dollars um i will put the link in the description box for you guys so this is the packaging came in um came with some lashes really sweet um i mean i usually never use those lashes because those make my eyes itch that no man came with a wig cap yeah. Oh, oh, shit. This is the hair. It smells like it's just been washed. Already comes with a middle part. Yeah, it comes with three. Yeah, three clips on the inside. Um, as you can see, and it also comes with an elastic, adjustable strap, something, and um, shit. It even comes with a piece of lace here at the back I guess for those who wants to wear you know up in a ponytail and whatnot but I won't be doing that so so I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of the products that I'm gonna be using for this install and for the hair so I'm going to be using this oil free wig shine just to kind of um, liven the wig up a little bit more once I'm finished and this is really good to use um, throughout the process of you wearing your wig just to keep it looking fresh and new pretty much and I got that from the hair store for like two dollars um, I'm gonna be using this mousse by olive oil and whatnot and then I'm gonna be using my got to be glue spray for the application because I really didn't want to glue it down so that's what I'm gonna be using today the wig caps that I'm using for today are these brown wig mint weight caps um something kind of close to my skin tone actually this is like really close to my skin tone like super close so i might not have to use that much like foundation and stuff to tint it so yeah let's get into it okay so i'm going to start with putting the hair on my mannequin head and putting my pins onto the lace to hold that in place um <laughs> Usually when I ordered this mannequin head from Amazon, it came with those pins, so I didn't have to necessarily purchase any from the hair store. But if you need any, they are at the hair store, but more than likely it should come with the mannequin head. I will put the link in the description box for those who want to purchase this mannequin head. So I'm going to brush through the hair um, first, get out any kinks and, you know, naps and whatever before I start getting into the nitty gritty of the wig okay so now I'm gonna get my clip and just pin the hair up um, I think I end up taking it down because it was on a it was in a necessary step so yeah but yeah so I'm going to go in with my mousse that kind of helps me to place the hair without using like hairspray or anything because mousse really doesn't make anything you know hard so it just helps me structure the wig the way that I want it to be the way that I want it to lay while I'm doing it this is very very effective and it works so I'm just kind of going in and I'm gonna start parting the hair and I'm going to start plucking the hair I kind of just plucked the middle part just a little bit more because it was very faint to me personally and I just went over it a little bit just to define it just a tad bit because I don't like it super like visible because a natural hairline is not you know super visible at all but it's like I didn't want it to be um I mean a natural part is not super visible so I didn't want it to be like the first thing that you see so yeah i am i'm sorry how i sound i'm very stuffy in the nose right now because of my allergies so yeah that sucks but yeah i'm so i'm just going through and just brushing the hair out getting it you know how i like it and stuff so 
so i'm just going to show you guys how it looks so far before i do any additional work because eventually i will go back and pluck it a little bit more just to you know straighten it out to my liking because it like once it got to that middle part it was just like really bundled up and i didn't like that so yeah Okay, so, so far I have kind of moosed it and um, kind of plucked it because really it didn't need so much plucking um, because it already was kind of pre-plucked and stuff like here. And so I didn't want to over pluck it. So I just kind of put the mousse on to let it kind of mold um, back. I don't really like my hair um, all up in my face. So I want to kind of mold that back for right now until I put it on and see kind of how it looks on my face. Okay, so in this part of plucking, plucking I'm just going in to kind of fix up the hairline for me because I kind of don't like the hairline to be super bulky. Um, even though in this case it really wasn't super bulky because it already was pre-plugged but it was just I wanted it to be plugged just a little bit more because it still was kind of thick um in the front to me so that it can actually you know lay and blend so with my hair literally tell the difference um like right here from this side being plugged and to until uh, to this side being plugged to that side being not really so much plugged I kind of want that seamless over plugged look um, because it just makes the hairline look a little bit more natural because whose edges is really like full on like this definitely not mine
Okay, so finally finished with the plucking and everything of this girl. I'm now going to blow dry and straighten it. Okay, so now I'm just going in with my blow dryer and kind of blow drying that out because, of course, because of the mousse, it's still kind of damp at the top and, um, I don't really like the feel of damp hair and how you, it feels when you straighten it. It just feels really, like, disturbing to me. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going in just blow drying it to give it a little bit more body because that also helps. You know, even if it was dry, I'd probably still go in and blow dry it because it gives it a little bit more body. So, now I'm going to um, go in with my straightener and just kind of straighten it out. Um, of course, it's pretty straight. The ends were kind of curled. So I went in and kind of straightened it out a little bit. Um, please do not mind my straightening technique because I was really just kind of ready to get this wig on and done at this point because I honestly was so tired and did not, you know, have the energy to do it today. But I did. So, yeah. Um, my straightening process is very different <laughs> so I do of course start from the back just because you know that's just common sense but this is my first time straightening my wig before I apply it on my head because usually um whenever I had like sew-ins or quick weaves I would just straighten it once it's on my head um but this is of course also my first full install myself on myself for a wig and um definitely was you know an experience um because usually I'm used to doing quick weaves or you know stuff on stuff like that but this was definitely new so I straightened it and everything before putting it on to my stop Okay, so now that I'm done with blow drying and straightening it, I'm going to go over it with my hard brush here and, um, you know, try to get some rid of some of those flyaways and everything. And I'm going to also go in with my um, hairspray here soon and kind of just get rid of those flyaways as well because you can see, like, on the top, it's just like a lot of flyaways and it just kind of irritated me <laughs> like I'm okay with a few but like it was a lot that was just sticking up through you know the hair and it was kind of like why <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my got to be glue hairspray and kind of brush that in first and um kind of lay it the way that I want it to be laid but I didn't take too much because I didn't want the hair to be stiff of course and the good thing about got to be glue like some reason like when it needs to be hard it gets hard and then when it needs to be kind of flexible you know you're still able to do stuff with your hair it still allows you to do that as well which is why I really love it because if I was using something like sprints like you would not be able to move that thing uh, -uh. you would just have to wash the wig at that point but yeah so I'm just gonna go and do that okay so now that the wig is finished and done finally I'm going to start my um, cap moment here. Um, so my hair, I'm not braiding it down like to the tiniest braids because um, I've had these four braids in um, for a while now. So I'm just not going to take them out. They've been flattened to the gods. So this is really good enough for me. So I'm going to lay my edges with this edge tamer. Um, I'm not really laying my edges, I'm just taking a little bit of time and then swooping them back because um, I don't want my hair to be like frizzy and stuff, blocking my 
frontal. And think about me, I have so much extra hair and I'm really just hoping that it doesn't like peek through and whatnot. If it does, oh well, I'm just gonna shave it like I usually do. And whatnot, whatever. Cause I just want this to have a clear um, separation so that it's easy using the ball cap method. I think that's why the ball cap method is so hard for me because of how close my forehead is to my I meant my hairline is to my brows. So it's, it's literally so hard for me. And it's like I watch videos of girls who do it. And usually they have like the 4x4 four four lace like all the way across. And they just kind of adjust it to their um, hair, hairline. But it's just so annoying <laughs> to me having to continue to like shave it just to have a little space to even do my eyebrows, dude. Like, it's pitiful. <laughs> Back to the wig or whatever before I get finished with this or whatnot. Um, so, I'm going to use my bronzer and my brush to apply this to the lace of my wig and apply this to my, um, my lace, my cap whenever I cut it and whatnot so yeah let's get into it okay so I'm just gonna go in with some of my bronzer here and kind of just take that to the lace um yeah I'm taking it on to this extra piece of lace too because I just want it um it just I don't know I don't even really know why I did that but it just um it helps <laughs> so now I'm gonna flip it inside out and put it on to this part right here and also, in this moment, this is when I realized I definitely did not have to do a whole full lace, I mean, a whole full wig cap moment because this was literally only a frontal. And I was kind of like, whatever at this point. So basically, you just kind of seen how you do a bald cap method as well if you were doing a 4x4 four four full lace moment, but I wasn't, so um yeah that's what happened <laughs> but I mean either way it's not like it's like showing it's gonna show or anything when I'm finished but it was still a waste of time <laughs> because I did the whole thing and I literally waited for it to be and finished I'm gonna be like here off with <laughs> one of these eyebrow thingies I feel like that's more precise and um more natural looking than cutting it off with scissors and, and it has like a super blunt okay so at this moment of course you know that i've already realized that i didn't need a whole full ball cap moment for this frontal but it's just too late to even fix it because it's just whatever now <laughs> so you're just going to get a free lesson on the ball cap method and yes but yeah so here you just see me cutting it with um, an eyebrow razor because it gives it a more rugged cut and it makes it look more precise. Okay. And now I'm going to go with my alcohol and kind of just clean up the got to be glue spray from around my hairline because if if you know that stuff gets really sticky and it, if you don't clean it up, it'll be hard to, you know, lay down your wig. So, yeah. And now I'm putting on my bronzer on my wig cap. So, yeah, let's just put this on. That was funny. I've been here in so long. Now that you see that part is kind of now unnecessary because of the clips. So I'm just going to have to pull it down and whatnot. Ouch, that hurts. So yeah, just pull that down. And then you just see that lace. So no problem with this situation because I can just go in with, um, with, uh, 
some mascara and kind of like bring those strands back to life and whatnot. So I'm really happy with how this looks so far. Um, bring this just a little bit more. There we go. I really am. So I don't think I'm gonna do baby hairs. I don't really want to, but so far, yeah, like. So yeah, or anything or whatever. I just want to kind of go over it with my mascara with like right here on these parts that are too light. Just kind of bring that color back and that part or whatever. I don't want it like super, super light. Like, I do want it to be realistic, but I don't want it to be like hella, hella light. So you see. It kind of made a good difference. So let me brush this out real quick. Okay, y'all, just real quick. Let's just get into how I just kind of did this, like, line. Like, girl what what lace already yo like come on come on okay so even though this would be looking so good like right here in this moment it's really like a make or break thing when you glue it down or whatever so i'm just hoping that this comes out right <laughs> like i'm not even doing it y'all because it looks so good like i wish i could just leave this on here because it looks so good but we're gonna get into it we're about to get into it okay let's get it let me stop playing so let me take these two pieces right here and pull them back and whatnot so i can get this going i know my boyfriend's probably like waiting for me because i was supposed to do something like that a long time ago but oh well you gotta wait because this is it this is a fucking moment okay so here we go so what i'm gonna do is lay spray it and everything before um i need to spray these flyaways back first before, they get this. before i lay it so yeah so i'm gonna get this done i'm gonna do it right get it done get it done get it done get it done all right let's do it so I'm just gonna spray it. Okay, so now I'm just going in with my got to be glue spray and spraying that around my edge area. That is the area that I am going to be cutting. So I want that to be laid as possible. Yes. And you're gonna see at the end what I mean. So I'm now I'm gonna take my brush and kind of swoop that back. Um it just makes a difference. Make it as thin as possible because it's really just going right here. And then let it sit for, I want to say about 10 minutes. I really want this joint to be dry, dry. And then I'll be back to cut it be done. Good. About to keep this lace on here. I'm gonna go run a quick air real quick while I'm doing this. They're gonna be like, why you got that right there? I might as well just cut this a little bit because I don't wanna be looking good when I go out. Cause I don't really need this. Just sticking out looking all hot mess. Oh shit, I cut some of my um mascara. Oh well. Cut it on. I don't have to. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go run my ear, get this um slick right here, like these flyaways. Like I don't like all these flyaways. I wish I had my um my iron here to um my hot iron here to I uh, mean my hot comb. Dang. To help me 
but it's not here with me so well whatever so i'm gonna go real quick and i'll be right back to take this off and whatnot so yeah back i'm gonna go in lastly with this wig shine that i have bought and showed you guys earlier so i really kind of want to see what it does i'm kind of interested seeing what it does smell good I mean, it does give it a little shine, but that's like a lot of shine. I just sprayed it in my hand, kind of just rubbed that all over. <laughs> Cause dang, that thing was shiny. I don't want to look at synthetic now, dang. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm more than likely, you know, this is not a wig that I'm going to be like, you know, sleeping in and stuff like that. Because, ooh, cut a strand off an accident. Because, um... You know, I, I wanted to keep this volume. I wanted to keep this posture. Because, you know, when you tend to sleep in wigs and stuff, it gets, like, super flat and matted in the back. And I definitely do not want that. So, we're just going to keep it as vo voluminous as possible. I mean, when you straighten the wig with the oil, it really does have a shine. It really does make a difference. But it's just, it makes it look a little too synthetic -y for me. So, I'm not going to add it again unless I like really need to use it so yeah pretty much but yeah other than that it's like perfect honestly like I love the texture I love the feel of it it has not shredded once since you know I've um, been playing in it today so that's definitely something good. Um, the length I got was 18 inches, but this really looks a little more than 18 inches to me. Like me standing back and using it, it looks a little longer than 18 inches to me, maybe because I'm short, but whatever. But yeah, so now it's time to take off the scarf. So, okay. So this is the moment that we've been waiting for to finally take this off, finish it off, and, um, you know, <sighs> take a deep breath until I get this clip. Clip this in there, whatnot, and let's take it off. Okay, when you really don't, um, have when well you have the scarf on it, it makes it look so much like your hair. Okay, okay, it really like laid this part down, but we're gonna, we're gonna comb that out after we cut the lace first, then we can do all the other alterations that we need to do. So let's cut this off first, let's get it off, and then we can dive into what else. Like, dang, I really like spray this bad boy. I'm literally like dabbing at my skin right now. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to where is it? Oh, take my eyebrow thingy and just cut that off. Y'all. Yes. I'm gonna wipe all that extra residue off in a second but y'all yeah be sure to cut off as much as that thick part as you can and then the lace thing is like on my forehead And it's okay if you cut a little bit of the hair because it really makes it look a little bit more natural too. But don't try to cut this all the hair down. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've taken off the lace, I'm just kind of going in with my um, alcohol and cleaning that up and then going in with my straightener and kind of um, straightening out those um, front parts those things that I wasn't able to hit whenever I had my um my head wrap on 
so yeah now I'm gonna go in and um can't remember if I said I wanted to do baby hairs or not I know initially I didn't but then I kind of decided to so I'm gonna take a little bit of hair and cut it with my eyebrow razor and I'm going to take some mousse please do not take edge control to your edges with a wig on because it will not look good it just look like a bunch of build up instead use mousse so that you're able to do your edges as often as possible every time you reapply your wig i promise you it makes all of the difference um dead serious so i'm gonna do one swoop over there and i'm gonna do another swoop on the other side um two is good i usually don't like to over edge my wig so um yeah that's what i'm going to do Just to kind of make it look natural as possible because I really don't like shiny, I mean, outstanding edges on wigs. It just really doesn't hit. So, yeah, I'm going to brush it, kind of get that final look. Hey, okay, guys, so this is the final look after all of my alterations and many fixes. Um, all I kind of went back and did was just apply a little bit of my bronzer to my hairline area just to make it a little bit more seamless. And I am 100% happy with how that came out. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with um, how it looks and everything. I'm really not complaining. Um, I love it. You know, for this price, I really feel like it's all about how you alter your wig and how you do it. So definitely happy about every single thing done in this video definitely happy about the outcome so i just want to thank you guys for watching this video please be sure to like comment and, uh, and subscribe and kind of leave any tips or anything that will make this process easier or just anything any tips any kind of good constructive criticism no negative no negativity period but um yeah aside from this i'm really into it um and i really do like it i'm not complaining at all about this um i'm happy haven't worn a wig in two years and i feel good so yeah peace I don't even have no words but period like just period dude just period